Hi everybody, this is Bug S Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the NECA TMNT Secret of the Ooze Accessory Pack. So first up, before we take a look at some of the accessories that are character specific, let's go ahead and take a look at the ones that aren't. So first up, you get this pizza box. This is the same exact pizza box that we got with the four pack. And you can open it up, and this time it actually has whole slices of pizza. I do wish there was enough to make a whole pizza. You only get four pieces. And looking at the pizza, it looks like it has peppers, sausage, and olives on it, I want to say. But this looks really nice. Like I said, I wish there would have been enough to make the whole pizza in there. But I think that looks really good. I want to say these are the same pizza accessories that we got with the um, first movie, Turtles. Up next, you get Toka in his animal form. And he looks very nice. The texturing and paint detail to his shell looks really nice. The gloss black for the claws looks really good. All the spots on the head and the eyes looks very nice. This is really well done. Even the bottom of him is painted very nicely. And he actually has a ball jointed head that can move up and down, move side to side, and an opening jaw. So I think that is very, very awesome. Up next you get Razar in his wolf form. And again, this looks really good. The paint variation to the fur looks very nice. You get a little bit of sculpt detail to the bottom even though it's completely flat. It's not sculpted quite as well as the bottom of Toka, but it still looks very nice. I'm very happy with this. Razor actually has some articulation. I want to say, yeah, it's a ball jointed head. Um, can move up very slightly and move side to side. So that's pretty awesome. Up next, you get this computer and keyboard. And I love the way that NECA did this. There's a sticker there for the face of the computer. You can see the one canister that is active. The rest are all disposed. And man, NECA did an awesome job on this. You can see set file, edit style, and exit. You can see the place for the floppy drive right there. Some nice paint variation to it. And even back here where the cords plug into it. That is some really nice attention to detail back here. NECA really went above and beyond for this accessory. And the keyboard looks just as good. I do kind of wish that the letters would have been printed on there. The letters and numbers, I think that would have looked really nice. But overall, this is still a very, very awesome accessory. Up next, you get the Ninja Rap is Born newspaper. And this looks really nice. You can see the photo of the turtles there. On the inside, it is very blurry. You can't see anything. But on the back, there is actually some print there. You can see West rates Edge over East in bowl. Umpire changes his mind, quits after stormy dispute. So yeah, the back of this, you can actually read the letters on it, and I think that is very nice. This is a very, very awesome accessory. Up next, you get the empty TGRI canister, and this looks really good. One of the coolest things about this is you can actually open it up like that. I think that is really, really cool. Since we did get a couple accessories that were specific to Splinter, I think it would have been very awesome if we could have gotten his bow and arrow and his quiver. That would have been really cool. So now let's go ahead and move on to Leonardo's accessories. So for Leonardo's alternate head, this is a more serious head sculpt as opposed to this smiling head sculpt. And I think I like this one better. I think it looks really nice. NECA did an awesome job on this. Up next, you get this cup of pop that's blue and white. And I want to say this was for Leonardo. This is the only accessory that I couldn't remember who it went to. I want to say it went to Leonardo though. But anyways, it looks nice and the turtles can hold it very nicely. So now let's go ahead and move on to Raphael's accessories. Raphael gets a less serious head sculpt. He gets a smiling head sculpt, and I do prefer this one. I think this one suits Raph more, but this one still looks very nice. The teeth are colored very nicely. If you look, his tongue isn't actually painted on. It's just painted white underneath there. So it is kind of odd that they didn't paint the tongue on, but that's a minor gripe. You can really only see that a certain way you have the light, and even then it's kind of hard to see it. But this head sculpt does look good. Up next, he comes with this red cup with the straw in it. Looks really good. This straw feels kind of like brittle plastic, so if you drop it, you could break it. So definitely be careful with this. And finally, Raphael comes with this head sculpt with the duct tape over the mouth. And I think this is a hilarious head sculpt. The duct tape itself is done in like a pearlescent white collar. And this looks really good. I do kind of wish they would have put the rope and the uh, piece of wood that he's tied to with him. That would have been really awesome. Luckily, I did have some stuff here for pictures that I take to actually make that picture. But it would have been really cool if they would have included that stuff in this set. 
One thing I forgot to mention too is switching these heads out is very difficult. I actually sanded the ball joints down just a little bit to be able to get these on easier because trying to pop them off as is, it felt like I was going to rip the ball peg off and break it. So yeah, definitely be careful when you're switching these out. You can boil and pop, that does work, but you know, the plastic will harden back up and it will just go back to being difficult to put on again. So my best advice is sand the ball peg down just slightly, enough to where it's still a snug fit, but you can get it off easier and not have to worry about breaking it. So now let's go ahead and take a look at Michelangelo's accessories. So first up, Michelangelo comes with this hat, and this hat looks really good. This is actually a brand new hat. I thought it was reused from the um, two-pack with Raphael and Casey, but it's not. It is a brand new sculpt, because as you can see, the hole in the back for the bandana is really big. But it fits on there really nice, and I think it looks really good on him like that. I think that looks great. Up next, he comes with the chocolate bar that he won't stop crunching in Raphael's ear. I think it's hilarious that Neck included this as an accessory. All it says on it is chocolate bar, and you can see the end has a bite taken out of it. That is a very hilarious accessory. Up next, he comes with two bags of potato chips. I like the wear on the bag. That looks really good. You get the ripple chips. You can see it says no preservatives. I like that they actually printed that on there. And then the regulars. Up next, he comes with a suitcase with all the stickers on it. You can see all the stickers printed on there, and that looks so good. NECA did an awesome job on that. And it's just as detailed on the inside. Um, the handle can move back and forth, and you can actually open this. You can see some nice paint variation to the inside and the straps here for luggage. So yeah, I'm really happy with the way this looks, and I'm really happy you can open it and actually put stuff in it. Up next, he comes with this key tart, and this is detailed very nicely. All the buttons look very nice. They're done in orange, purple, red, and blue. The keys look really good. And this strap is done in a very soft rubber material, so it stretches over the figure and stays very nicely there on the shoulder. This is a great accessory. Up next, he comes with a more serious head sculpt. You can see he has a slight grin to his face, but it's less serious than this open mouth head sculpt. My only complaint is under the left eye, you can see a black mark right there. But other than that, this head sculpt looks very nice. And finally, you get Michelangelo's cleaning accessories. You get the two brushes that fit in his hands very nicely. And you get this real fabric pink apron. And this looks very nice. The print on it looks really good. My only complaint is the ribbon that you use to tie it. It feels very brittle. Like, it feels like if you pull it too tight that it might rip. So definitely be careful with that. I just tied it like this since I will be taking it off. But I love this accessory. I also just noticed um, that Michelangelo came with the most accessories in this set. He definitely comes with the most fun accessories in this set, that's for sure. So now let's go ahead and take a look at Donatello and all of his accessories. So first up, you get this smiling head sculpt for Donatello, and this looks really good. Here you can see that the four-pack version was the more serious head sculpt, and then you get this smiling head sculpt. Here you can see all the teeth are painted very nicely, and the tongue is actually painted on this one, unlike Raphael. So yeah, this looks very awesome. Up next, he comes with his bowl of popcorn, and this looks really good. The sculpt detail to it is very nice, and it has some nice yellow paint on top for the buzzer. The bowl itself is done in a nice silver collar. So yeah, that is a really awesome accessory. This set comes with a bunch of accessories to take a lot of pictures. NECA really put a ton of care into getting this set just right. Up next, he comes with this payphone, and you can actually take the phone off the hook there and put it in the figure's hands. These hands are too tiny to put the phone in because it'll stretch the hands out, but I think it's really awesome that you can actually take this off the hook. You can see I've got a little bit of green scuffage right there from where I tried to put it in the hand. Um, the cord, I do kind of wish this was bendy wire or something because it really just wants to stay like this, and sometimes it falls off the hook. But there you can see the keypad. It's got some nice silver paint making the paint look worn on it and chipped off. I think it has just a little bit of yellow to it as well to make it look kind of rusted. And this actually has a hole in the back that you can put on a, I'm going to say like a thumbtack. I thought I heard NECA say something about you could actually hook it on this uh, diorama, the street scene diorama. I think that would have been really awesome and kind of a missed opportunity because there are little bricks, uh, like right up here, you can see a brick that comes out. I think it would have been awesome if they would have uh, made this be able to peg into where those bricks pop out. That, that would have been really nice. 
But if you wanted, you could probably get some little glue dots, place on here, and then put on your diorama if you want to. That's probably what I'm going to do because I think this will look really nice hanging up back there. And finally, Donatello comes with his cleaning accessories. He has a purple apron that ties in the back. Looks really good. And then you have his mop staff. And the mop heads look very nice. To get this on, you just pop the top of the mop head off. This one right here, the bottom one does not pop off. And then you slide it into his hand like that. And yeah, that looks great. So overall, I hope that everyone that wanted this accessory set was able to get one. Because it is amazing. NECA went above and beyond with all of the detail and accessories in this set. I love the amount of accessories and all the different options you can make for pictures. That is really great. My only gripe was that it didn't include the post and the uh, rope for Raphael, and it would have been nice if they would have included some more accessories for Splinter. But other than that, this set is amazing. So that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.